Hey guys, it's Sohanna and today I'm going to be giving you a brief introduction to volleyball positions. I will cover all six numbered positions, what each position is, and some volleyball formations. So let's get started. Before I explain any of the positions, let's briefly label the court. This is the net. The attack line, which the back row players can jump and hit the ball in front of. And the baseline, which players serve behind. So now let's say that the court was broken up into six sections for a side. There are six positions in volleyball. Position number one is at the back right corner, where the server usually is. Position two is in the front right corner. Position three, front middle. Position four, front left. Position five, back left. And position six, back middle. Although this court is broken up into six sections, that doesn't mean that the players have to stay only within that area. But that's just an easier way to visualize the area that players would play in. Positions also have names. Position one is the right side hitter. Right side hitter plays front and back row, hits from right side, and hits off back sets. This is the position where the server usually is. Position two, the setter. The setter is in charge of offense, usually gets second ball, and sets the ball to the appropriate hitter. 3. Middle blocker The middle blocker blocks from front middle, can attack the ball, and on defense helps close blocks. So this means that there's going to be a double block. 4. Left side hitter and 5. Outside hitter The left side or outside hitter hits from left side they're one of the main passers, and both of them are go-to hitters. Lastly, position 6, the libero. A libero is a defensive specialist, wears a different color jersey, and they can't attack or block. In volleyball, players always rotate clockwise, so each person would move one to their left. These positions don't always have to be in the same spot. It just depends on the formation your team follows. Some recreation or school matches might not have three hitters or might play a setter from position three. This all changes due to your formation. As you play at a higher level, you'll become more familiar with these positions. Now let's talk specifically about formations. There's a variety of different formations teams can have, but for school volleyball, you'd most likely be introduced to a formation like this. In this formation, all players are stationary, the setter in position 3, two hitters in positions 2 and 4, and all the back row players play defense. When you play at a higher level, the setter might change to position 2.5, which is right between 2 and 3. Doing this, you now have the option to set to the left side hitter or the middle blocker. After learning all of this, you might be introduced to run a 6-2 formation. This is called a 6-2 because there are 6 players on the court, who are hitters, and two of them can also be setters. The advantage of this offense is that it gives you three hitters on the front row at all times, which provides your team with more options when hitting. The base positions are the setter in position one, a right side hitter in position two, a middle blocker in position three, an outside hitter in position four, another outside hitter in position five, and another middle blocker in position six. In this formation, the two outside hitters are across from each other, the two middle blockers are across from each other, and the setter is also across from the right side hitter. When the ball is on your side, the setter will run to position 2 to get the second ball. But if the setter passes, then the right side hitter, who is in position 2, will get second ball. So there's your introduction to volleyball positions. It really just depends on your coach and your team's strengths to decide what formation to run. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video.